Good. This is so much fun. You stay over there, you naughty. You naughty, naughty. Hi, guys. Oh my god, guys. Initially, when I got into the pool, I was really, really cold. But it's such a lovely day, and I've warmed up. Let me describe him before I start. Because I'm about. I'm about to go in on him. Even though I, I love you. Right, right now, right now, where we are, I love you. Trust me, there's no malice. I just have to do a story time on you because you are an arsehole. But right now, as it stands, I love you. You're my babes. You're my babes. You're my everything. Do you get it? You're my babes. I love you. I've got love for you. We're cool. You're my jigger that. But still, I have to tell the, this lot how you was a bastard to me. Because you was. So basically, this motherfucker bitch, um, he was really sexy. Um, at the time, I was a colorist. So he was a lighty. And he was a light-skinned motherfucker um not like the tallest maybe 5'10 but at this point i like pretty boys and he was very pretty in the face anyway he was a nigerian demon you know that's never changed i've been like a nigerian demon from young do you know, do you know what i'm saying that's why i'm all fucked up and shit because <laughs> i like nigerian demons and nigerian men are bastards sorry not sorry so anyway me and this um i'm gonna call him my first love because he was my first love my first love so he was my first love so basically guys we've been going out for maybe two and a half years at this point we were deep in it he was my, my everything i used to wake up and i used to smell his nasty morning breath and i just just want to smother it all over my face you know when you just wake up straight, that's how much I loved him. His nasty morning breath. You could just breathe it all on my face and I'll just, oh, I'll just, oh, yeah, give it to me, baby. Give me that disgusting morning breath, baby. Breathe it all over my face. Nigga, yeah, give it to me. Breathe all over my face with your nasty breath. That's how much I fucking love y'all. So yeah, that's how in love I was, you know. So anyway, um, his birthday was coming up. So for his um, birthday, he wanted to have a party. Um, I went to uni these times, so um, his party was in London. I was out of London, so I had to make sure I traveled down. And I, ha I made sure I took a friend with me. It was an apartment party, party. You know, like how you have like a, how you run an Airbnb and then you have a little um, shubs. It was like that. So um, I made sure I looked cute. I made sure I look cute. Went with my friend to my boyfriend's party. Okay, my boyfriend. Okay, bitch. My boyfriend, not yours, bitch. So I went to the party and I arrived looking cute. I remember asking him, do you want me to bring you anything like, you know, a cake or whatever? And he was like, no, my babes, no, my babes, don't worry. It's all patterns, don't worry. Like, me and my boys are sorting it out. Just, you know, bring your pretty face. I was like, <laughs> I can do that, boo, don't worry. I'll bring my pretty face. So anyway, I must have got there now. And you know, it was it was a vibe. There was a couple few people there. We was vibes in, we was vibes in, we was vibes in, we was vibes in, we was drinking, we was ton up, we was ton up, we was having a good time, you understand? And then this one bitch. Okay, by the way, sis, if you watch this, I'm just calling you bitch. <gasps> So what's okay? It's gone. Thank God for that. You fucking up because my vagina is all out, fam. So you, Woo! <laughs> I would have run to the, into the house, my vagina hanging, and the neighbors would have seen everything. Ass and whew, it's not gonna be pretty. But yeah, let's let's um continue the story. So this one bitch, and like I said, I ain't got a problem with you now, but obviously you was a bitch back then, so I can call you a bitch, okay? Just forgive me in advance. But this one bitch, she walked into the house, yeah, walked into the party. Tell me why this bitch is this is my boyfriend's party, yeah? My boyfriend. Mine. My motherfucking boyfriend. Why does this bitch walk into my boyfriend's party with a cake? What the fuck? Who the fuck are you, bitch? Because I asked my boyfriend, do you want me to bring anything? And he said it's all patterned by his friends. So what, are you his friend? 
Are you his friend? I never heard of you, bitch. Never heard of you. I thought his male friends were doing shit for him. Who the fuck are you, bitch? Who are you? You bitch! That's what I fucking thought. Who is this fucking bitch? So, I was sitting in one of the bedrooms. There was beds of us in the bedroom chilling because you know it's an apartment. It's not like it's the most massive space. So you move from the bedroom to the living room to the kitchen. So it was all chilling in the bedroom. And I'm just like looking at this bitch anyhow, thinking, what the f who is this bitch? Like, why should she bring a cake for my man? And I'm talking to my brother, like, who is this girl? Why should she bring a cake for my man? Who is this girl? Who is this girl? Who is this bitch? She walking in here like she's his boyfriend, like she's his girlfriend, sorry. Walking in here giving him cake, acting like she's the good wife. You're not no good wife, because I am the fucking wife. Not you. Me. Okay? Who are you, bitch? And let me just tell you something. My boyfriend at the time, he didn't know how psycho I was and how crazy I was. Let me tell you, I want a nigga to fucking try me. Try me. I've had, let me tell you something, guys. Every single motherfucker, every single motherfucker I've ever dated always says, you know, they like to say this stuff. I don't like crazy bitches. I don't like girls that like um, slide into girls DMs. Like, you know, from a woman to woman. They don't like none of that shit. I don't like girls going up to other girls saying, yo, are you chatting to my man? I don't like none of that shit. I like my girl to be secure and just behave herself. That's your business, yeah? That is your business. That is your fucking business. I don't give a heck. I don't give a heck what you fucking like. I'm gonna act how I fucking wanna act. Cause let me tell you something, I'd rather be single than be buoyed by some fucking cunt. Okay? Okay? I'd rather be single. No one tells me how to act. No one tells Lani Good how to motherfucking act. So you can tell me all day long, I don't like bitches that do this and do that. I don't give a heck. I don't give a heck. I, I don't give a heck. Go fucking talk to your mum because I don't give a fucking heck. Okay? So he obviously thought he patterned me and I would never ever ever dare approach a bitch about him. He was wrong. <laughs> He was wrong. This is me. This is me, Lonnie Good. I don't follow the fucking rules. I'll come on YouTubes. I'll come on YouTubes and I'll expose you. Understand? I'll come on YouTubes and I'll expose you. Yeah. I was sliding the girls DMs like, hey sis, my boyfriend is your boyfriend. Or your nigga is trash. Your nigga is trash. Let me tell you why. Your nigga has been dating my friend Shaniqua for three years. Mm hmm. And that time where you thought he was on holiday, he was with Shaniqua and she was sitting on his face every other fucking night and then he came back to you to kiss you while he was pregnant, bitch. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's me. Oh yeah, I'll snitch on your ass. I'll snitch on your ass like crazy. I'ma snitch on your ass like crazy. I'ma snitch on your ass like crazy. I don't give a heck. I'ma snitch on your ass like crazy, bitch. Okay? So basically, I pull up on her. I said, yo, let me talk to you. Get me, because I have to act like a Bruh. real girl, you know what I'm saying? I have to act like a, a real girl, because I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad man. That's what you lot need to understand. So I put up on a bitch and said, yo, let me talk to you. <laughs> so it's so funny, like, when I act like that, because <laughs> I'm such a nice person. But really, I was like, yo, let me talk to you. So she was like, yeah, hi. And I was like, hi. So basically, you bought a cake for my first love. And she was like, yeah, I brought him a cake. He really liked it. And I said, <laughs> yeah, he really liked it. I was like, okay, so basically, why are you bringing him a cake? Are you guys friends or are you dating him? Oh my God, let me Bruh. tell you, when I was talking to her, his best friend, his best friend, panicking. His best friend was like trying to be like, Bruh. oh, you look, you look, no, no. Like, you look, you look, you look, you look, um, you, you look, come, like, let's go dance, you look, you look, let's go dance. Like, Bruh. why are you not doing this right now? Like, let's go dance. Let's get, like, he was trying to break us up. Like, you look, you look, have this conversation later, innit? You look, like, 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 he was trying to break it up. Like, he was panicking. He was panicking. Um, he's a good friend, I'm not gonna lie to you. He's a, he, 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 I'm just saying, babes, that one friend we're talking about, you know, he's, he starts some tea. Like, he's a rider. He tried to actually stop it. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's what good friends do. They lie for you. They they support your fucking bullshit and your fucking, um, you know, disgusting behavior that is, you know, debaucherous and, 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 and God would just actually spit on you if he knew you were doing that shit. That's what your friends do. They support that nasty, disgraceful, fucking awful behavior that you should just burn in hell for. That's what good friends do. They just support that bullshit. And that's what he done. So I was just like talking to the girl now and I was just like, yeah, so I'ma call her Bubblehead. Yeah, I'ma call her Bubblehead. I was like, yo, so Bubblehead, like why are you bringing, why are you bringing my man a cake? This is my man's party. Why are you bringing him a cake? 
Like, I don't get it. Are you friends or are you dating? And then guess what the audacity this girl had to say to me? She said it to my face. This girl just said this to my face. No cap. She goes, yeah. He's my boyfriend. Can you imagine? Not I'm seeing him. Not he's my ting. He's my boyfriend. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? What the fuck? Do you want to fucking repeat that, you bitch? What? She was like, yeah, he's my boyfriend. We've been um, dating on and off. On and off, wait for it, 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 on and off, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, huh? Wait for it, see? Wait for yeah. it. We've been dating on and off for six years. Four. Six years. dating him for six years who the fuck are you bitch that's what she was trying to do to me because i don't even know him for three years uh-huh bitch he's double my nigga that's what she was saying he's double my nigga double double you are a non-motherfucking factor bitch that's what she was saying to my face that's what she was saying to my face i should have fucking fucked the fucking bitch up in her fucking face bitch day bitch so, I didn't fuck her up, I'm not gonna lie to you because that would be a lie. I would, I would love to lie and tell this story, but then I'll get clocked because somebody will make a YouTube video about how I'm a liar. So that's not what happened, guys. I didn't fuck her up. I just started crying. I just started crying. I was crying, I was crying, I was crying. And then um, um, she started moving mad. She started moving mad, like she started screaming down the place. She was like screaming and making a lot of noise. Like what, what? So what, imagine on his birthday, you know, I done this on his birthday. Oh, oh I'm the wrong one. You do not want to mess with me, boy. I will ruin your birthday. So yeah, she started screaming down the place like, what, what? So who's this, who's this girl? Like, who's this girl? Like, what do you mean? Like, what, you been seeing this girl? The way you been seeing me? She was going mad. She was going mad, she was moving mad. Like she's the main thing. I was just like crying because I was ashamed and embarrassed. Bastard, absolute bastard, fucking um. Okay. So she was like making noise, like, what, 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 oh my god, what, what, like, um, who's this girl? Like, what, oh my god, you've been chatting to next girls, are you been chatting to me? So I'm in shock, yeah, I'm in shock because I thought this was the love of my life, I thought this was my husband, and he had been seeing somebody simultaneously to seeing me. Simultaneously, guys. The same time. That's what simultaneously means, guys, by the way, if, you, if you're not educated. Simultaneously. Have I said it right? Simultaneously to see me. Not even see me, he was my boyfriend. So simultaneously to being my boyfriend, he was seeing this other bitch. This other motherfucking bitch. Yep, this other bitch. I was not happy. So basically, I ended up um, leaving the party. I really ruined his birthday. I'm um, not gonna lie to you, but that's just me. That's just me. Oh, please, you bo Do not move, you bastard. Sorry, just talking to the um, equipment. Do not move. So guys, as I was saying, I left, yeah, to go back to uni and I, cried and cried and cried because I thought how could he how could he cheat on me I thought this was true love I thought this was true love how could he cheat on me with a dumbo looking bitch with a dumbo looking head I was so heartbroken guys I was so 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 heartbroken I cried myself to sleep for like three days and then he came all the way to Birmingham to see me at uni. And then he like, obviously like, 
gave me like a bullshit sob story and how he wasn't gonna do it again and how she didn't mean anything to him by the way they all do that because they fucking talk shit and they all lie um never believe that crap if you want to believe it just believe it for yourself but it's just bullshit because when he goes to the other girl he's telling her the same thing he'll be like nah nah she was insignificant nah like obviously obviously i was only i only um saw her two times like meanwhile like you've seen me you're telling her you've seen me two times but in real life you've actually seen me 671 times you've seen me 671 times but you've told the other girl that you've seen me twice 671 times you've seen me over the last three years you have linked me 671 times but you've told her you've seen me twice that's what they do they will fucking lie to you and fucking lie to her and have you lot hating each other when really he's the bastard he's the one that's a bastard not the other girl she's just she's just like you she's in love with the same fool you're in love with because he's a fucking cunt just letting you guys know that's just how they play it never ever believe them when they say oh she's just a crazy girl that's obsessed with me liar so he's a liar 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 So anyway guys <laughs> so um yeah so i forgave him because back then i didn't have experience and i was a fool i was a fool and i wanted to believe that it was true love but obviously it was not and then because i was so heartbroken um and we tried to make it work we stayed together until the three three year mark but guys i should have known better because it just my stupidness eventually caught up with me because that girl wasn't insignificant to him at all he continued to see her they always do that they might stop seeing the girl because it's hot at the moment so they might stop seeing her for a month or two but they'll always holler back at her they're all because there's something about her that they like too in it maybe she makes a really good um pounder jam she makes really 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 good pounder jam and i can't make pounder jam do you understand and that is why he likes her so he um um it came to bite me in the ass because my boyfriend eventually was locked up he went to prison and he did time and i found out i fucking found out that whilst i was waiting for him and i was visiting him what do you think happened mm -hmm. he was in jail mm -hmm. for like seven eight months mm -hmm. he was in jail for seven eight months i was waiting for him i was waiting for that asshole and guess what that bitch was visiting him uh -huh. that bitch was visiting him and she wasn't the only motherfucking bitch visiting him so basically he was a bastard he was a bastard he was a bastard yes he was my boyfriend but for all i know it was sister wives do you understand it was sister wives probably sharing him with you know fucking lisa rebecca samantha your one day who, who 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 bloody who bloody knows oh i could have been the main one and they were the sides but it doesn't actually matter disrespect is disrespect okay disrespect is disrespect how can you be in jail how can you be in jail and i'm waiting for you and you have other bitches visiting you i'm on the outside listen to the irony guys i'm on the outside being loyal but you are on the inside being a bastard you're on the inside being a bastard do you get it do you get it so yeah guys that's um the end of my story time if you enjoyed my story time make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you like subscribe comment share make sure you tell your grandmother your granddaddy your sister your brother your cousin your uncle your auntie and until next time bitches love you Bye. Piss, he ain't on shit, so can